breaking news there's important changes that have occurred with ecfmg and this ecfmg stands for educational commission for foreign medical graduate ecfmg and they've announced significant changes that are definitely going to affect all international medical graduates who are looking to work in the u.s but i'll give you some key definitions here um, first of all the word international medical graduate refers to u.s citizens not other country citizens refer to U.S. citizens who completed a medical education out of the United States in another country and they are returning to the United States to then pursue residency. Whereas foreign medical graduate, FMG, are non-U.S. citizens who actually did medical school in a different country or in their home country, but they are looking to pursue residency in the U.S. and of course work in the U.S. Um, as physicians or specialist physicians. And this is really, really important for us to know in terms of these changes because these changes is going to affect both international medical graduate and foreign medical graduate. This is really a key and important factor that international medical graduate and foreign medical graduate should take into consideration. So the way the current certification process is, is that both international medical graduate and foreign medical graduates, they obtain certification through these ECFMG before they can apply to US residency programs and practice in the United States. And to apply for ECFMG certification, um, international medical graduate and foreign medical graduates must attend a medical school that is recognized by the World Directory of Medical Schools, WODM. I've left the link in the description and let me just give you a quick demonstration here. So when you come to the official website, you can search for that school just here and you could literally choose a country. If you chose Japan, for instance, and then you could take a school, say Nagasaki University, you could just search and then you have it there. But if you put a medical institution here and it doesn't come out in the search, then you are not qualified to do ECFMG certification application. So initially, that is how it is till now in 2023. Come from January 1, um, 2024, these will change. So starting in 2024, individual medical schools will no longer be recognized. Instead, schools must be recognized by their country's national or regional accreditation agencies. So not individual medical schools, again, are going to be recognized, but regional or national um, agencies, which must then be recognized by the World Federation of Medical Education, um, WFME. So WFME, which is World Federation of Medical Education, must be able to recognize that your country's national or your regional accrediting agency before you're qualified. So just imagine you're in a country and your country was initially on WODM, on the World Directory for Foreign or for Medical Education. And now your school doesn't belong to any local or national accrediting agency then you will not be eligible to apply for ECFMG. And if you're not eligible to apply for ECFMG, then you cannot do residency in the US. So this is really going to be distressing for countries that their um, medical schools are not a part of any national or regional accreditation. And I will show you here quickly what that list actually looks like. If you come here, you see agencies will recognize status. This is a World Federation for Medical Education. Um, and if you head right here, we'll see their website in a bit, but if you are, you know, these are the agencies and these are the countries or region probably to review medical schools that are currently accredited by agencies. So this is telling you when they were recognized by the world Federation for Medical Education. So you see here, these ones are recognized in 2022. Um, if you are somewhere from this region, then this is your accreditation agency and you're recognized to July 2023. So this one's on is expired, so they will need to reapply again. And this is their recognition status. So this is giving you recognition status. So if you're somewhere from Canada, the recognition status to April 2024. So they have to do it. And in Canada, it is the um, Committee on Accreditation of Canadian medical schools. And also, even in Canada, there is still a little bit of changes that's happening with this, with the licensure. So it's gonna be just one body that is giving licensure 
to medical graduates in Canada and not um, many and so you can see this link I'll put the link in the description box so you can check for your country and see um, where your country falls and if these accreditation or these changes will definitely affect you or not so those are some of the changes that are happening and you can directly come um, on the website of the ward um, if you come here you will see all the different changes and sometimes this will have an impact because for this to actually happen for some countries, for instance, the UK, we see that there is some, you know, monetary aspect involved into it. It's going to cost, um, according to the World Federation of Medical Education, the cost to obtain recognition is about, you know, 60,000 US dollars. At least we have all these different regional or countries that are joining forces together to be able to put this amount to get recognized by the world's federation so um, again this might delay for some countries but we need to take time and this will be the official website of the world's federation for medical education so um, in terms of impact on practicing physicians the changes will not only affect medical students but also practicing physicians if we have a graduate that graduated in 2016 and the medical school is currently recognized by the world directory of you know medical schools you can still apply for ecmg certification Starting 2024, however, if your medical school is not accredited by a national accrediting agency or regional accrediting agency that is not recognized by the you know, World Federation for Medical Education, you will no longer be able to apply for ECMG certification, even if you were previously able. So this is really distressing for many international medical graduates and foreign medical graduates from around the world. And validity of accreditation status can be established and you can check that the ECFMG published a statement on October 12, 2022 stating that the accreditation status of applicants medical school will be submitted to ERAS, the system used to apply for residency and will be uh, viewed through the program directory. So I have left the links in the description even for ECFMG so you can check the links in the description and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to reach out to us in summary for you to get ecfmg certification as an international medical graduate or foreign medical graduate your school will not only need to be recognized by award or the world director for medical education but your school needs to be part of a national or a local accreditation agencies and i've just shown you the list left the list in the description box and then that accreditation body will channel you to apply for ecfmg certification and only that way can you get certification and if you don't get certification then you cannot get the board exams you know practice in the u.s in a sense so it's going to be a little bit hard but different countries will be battling and struggling for those that are not yet a part of world federations of medical education but it might take some time and so within those years you are ineligible but those candidates from those different schools can look at different countries like the uk to practice there or canada or any other um, country that they're interested in if you have any questions please don't forget to like the video as you exit stay tuned bye, -bye.